One, two, three, S.I.U. What's up, Hampton Nation? We are here in Daytona Beach at the Municipal Stadium for yet another day of action-packed football. In last week's games, the Pirates fought hard, played some great defense, and came out on top against Florida a and Today, the Pirates will be taking on the bethune Cookman Wildcats. The Pirates are hoping to come out on top as they're on a three-game winning streak. Both teams are also competing to move up in the MEAC ranking as the Pirates are undefeated and ranked at number two. The Wildcats are ranked at number six. Today's game will have a hostile playing environment as it is the homecoming for the Wildcats. Kickoff starts at 4 p.m., so don't go anywhere. Tatiana Wilson, Pirate Sports Network. Let's go! Get off the field! Get off the field!
that you guys had a tough time just putting points on the board and making stops. So what was your mindset during the first half of the game? I mean, I always knew we was one play away from scoring the football, but we waited too late to start to put our foot on that gas. And during halftime, um, what did you tell yourself just to prepare for the second half? I said, everybody stay calm, man. It's going to play itself out. But like I said, we should have started way earlier than we did. We usually start off hot. We waited late today. We came to another a team's homecoming, and it just didn't fall in our way. And you were very explosive in today's game, um, two touchdowns, and you just kind of just went out there and played and just did everything that you could to put points on the board. So how did you execute through the pressure? I mean, I didn't feel really much pressure. Uh, we prepared all week for this, and I knew what I was going to see. I was going to see a lot of man coverage, and there's no, no surprise. I just capitalized on my opportunities. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome back, Pirate Nation. We're here with Raheem Husky. And first off, I just want to ask you, defensively, you um, you guys had a, you guys did well making stops and not allowing them to pretty much score, really. So what was your mindset as on the defensive end? Shit, man. I was, I was hoping we could shut them out, man, and just get the ball on the ground on that last possession, man. That's about it. And you came out very explosive in the second half. You made, caught an interception that changed the momentum of the game. So can you just speak to that? Just trying to make a play when it come my way, that's all. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
We're here with Coach Maynard. First off, Coach, I just want to say you guys did a remarkable job um, on the defensive end, making stops and just making it tough for the other team to kind of score. So can you just speak to the defensive? Yeah, we got off to a bad start there. Um, they got two touchdowns early. Uh, our first six, seven minutes of the game, we were down 14 zip. But you know, our guys showed a lot of intent to 42 and play hard the second half. First half, they only had 17 at halftime. They had 14 the first five minutes. Uh, and they was on the field, you know, our defense was on the field for 42 plays. So they did a great job. Uh, you know, we needed one more stop. You know, we needed one more stop there. Uh, the offense, uh, the guys uh, stuck together and we came back to the lead, you know, and uh, then we gave it up in the, at the end. And we had the opportunity right there to uh, tie the game up. And, you know, where that happens, he missed the field goal. Uh, you know, he's human. He makes mistakes just like everybody else. We had, uh, we had a whole bunch of other mistakes in the game that if, if we don't make those mistakes, don't come down to a kick. So, you know, uh, you know, we told Adam, hold his head up. It ain't his fault that we lost the game. And what can you say? I noticed that penalties seem to be a setback, a major setback for you guys a lot of times. So what can you say for your team to help you guys? Just kind of how will you prepare them to minimize the penalties in the games going forward? Well, you know, I don't think we had too many in the second half. There was the first half that we had a couple of penalties that uh, kept the drive alive, and they scored on that drive. So once we, we knew if we stopped the penalties that uh, we, we could stop them, and that's what the defense did for most of the game, you know, after that first 14 points. Sorry about that. So, uh, you know, so we knew penalties is a big deal. If we can keep away from those this stupid penalties, yeah, you know, that, that costs your game sometimes. Yeah, and next week you guys will be taking on another MEAC team, which is going to be um, North Carolina Central. So as you guys are going in and you're trying to stay um, in the MEAC, how are you guys just kind of prepare for that? Uh, just like your regular game, you know, it's the next game. It's the biggest game of the season. Uh, we're not undefeated no more in the conference, so we don't control our own destiny. We just got to win out now and see what happens, see how, see how the chip's going to fall. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap here at the Municipal Stadium. The final score was 21-24. The Pirates fought hard but were unable to execute and win the game. Next week, the Pirates will be back home to take on the North Carolina Central Eagles. It will be a pink out game as well as family day, so you don't want to miss it. Join us back at the Armstrong Stadium. Tatiana Wilson, Pirate Sports Network.